Hello everyone, welcome to the Study Hacks Institute of GIS and Sensing. Today I will discuss a very important topic, mainly how we can create the cloud project on Google App Engine. So basically without a cloud project, we cannot work with Google App Engine user interface as well as we cannot not work with the Python environment. So that's why it's very important to create the cloud project. So here you can see basically Google Earth Engine provides the two types of service, paid and unpaid. We can uh, easily use for the unpaid as a researcher or academia, we can easily use it. So after you can simply go to, after your registration, simply go to this link, code.earthengine.google.com, you can get this type of code editor user interface. So here you can see about that the image, just click on here, here you can see about that there is no cloud project. Okay, so there is nothing about that. So here you can see choose a cloud project. If you already create this cloud project, then you can simply choose it from here. Or if you want, you can create the new cloud project. So simply restart a new cloud project. Click on here. So now it open a new window. So here you can get the get started using Art Engine. So basically restart a non-commercial or commercial cloud project. So just click on here. Here you can see the two options paid and unpaid so basically paid is the commercial business government operation and unpaid mainly non-profit education government research training and media so basically in this time i choose the unpaid and further here you can see about that project type simply select here academia or research or non-profit so here you can see the lot of uh, options are available trainer or training so just you can simply select anyone i simply choose here the academia and research and further i click on the next button so here you can see create a new cloud project or choose an existing cloud project so i want to create the new cloud project just click on here so now you have to select the organization so in this time here you can see there is the no organization it's not needed at this time because it's my open for the research and academia so here you can see the project uh, id so you can simply choose your any unique id suppose i put the project id is that ee Mijan GIS RS. I just put this name, look like that. You can put any unique ID. Okay. And for the uh, project name, uh, it's optional, it's not need about that. So just I give it the same and then continue to summary. So now it created the new cloud project. This project ID name is that ee.mijangisrs okay so here you can see it created so here you can see about that uh, project uh, academy and research and project info this is my project name ee mijan gisrs and further i want to just click on the confirm So here you can see now project cloud project is ready for me. So ee.mijangisrs is registered. So now here you can see we can find out this name also in here. So this is my cloud project name ee.mijangisrs. Also you can see the asset tab. It also added the new cloud assets. So ee.mijangisrs. So further using this cloud project, we can also work with the Google Collab or R Studio or other environment we can easily work with the cloud um, google Earth engine platform we can easily use it okay so this is the process to create the cloud project and this cloud project is available only for the three months mainly 90 days after 90 days you can also create the new cloud project or if you want you can also create the another google cloud project and work with that okay so today is no more thank you for watching that i hope uh, after watching this video you can easily get this how we can easily create that Google Cloud project. Thank you for watching that.